I saw her crawling out to a little truck garden she had next to the house one day, and uh, it dawned on me, it was terrific, I mean. And I went home and made a quick notation of this idea of Christine, the field, the house in the background. And several days went by, and this kept building in my mind. Christina's world is a picture that's actually kind of hard to look at anymore because it's become such an icon that to come to it fresh is almost impossible. But that, in a way, is a sign of its strength, is that over decades, people come back to it generation after generation and find it haunting, even people who don't really know the story of Christina. It's enjoyed because there's a spectrum of emotions that it can release. And that might be loneliness, it might be yearning, it might be something that's lost that can never be seen or rescued again. It can look like somebody's dream, a nightmare maybe even. This woman seen from the rear, moving herself up towards a little haunted house that's on this very strong horizon. A woman longing for something. Some people pick up that she's crippled. Some people don't at all and just think she's yearning. I think it's a painting which so many people can get free association with it in an extreme way. I knew she had been up to look at it, though, because I could see where the dust had been swept along with her body as she crawled up. So she knew what I was doing. 